Oh, I'm so happy to see you. That's all right. Yes, I will. We'll get started in a minute.
From within the circle, we talk about the past. I hear cries for fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters, brothers and sisters and friendships we thought would last. My story becomes yours as we struggle through the pain. In the circle, we remember their names. We have daydreams of the future about how we thought it might be with regrets of conversations that might have been the key. We have good days and bad days, and without a trace in the circle, tears and smiles meet as we gather strength together. Sons and daughters, husbands and wives, brothers and sisters and friendships felt deep in our souls. Memories and moments left clinging to us and questions of how to let go. Today is a very special and painful day for me. As everyone here probably already knows, I have been hosting and attending these meetings for the better part of two years, but I've never felt strong enough to share my own story. And part of the difficulty is trying to get my son Cameron here. He's off in Seattle in graduate school. <clears throat> but he made time to come here because it's time to heal. It's time to close the wound. Anyway, are you ready, Cameron? Do you want to start or should I? You can go, Mom. Well, <clears throat> I can't believe it. I I can't believe I'm crying already. Uh, three years ago, Cameron first left home for college. It was his sophomore year. He lived at home his first year, but his sophomore year, he was adamant about living on his own. So he moved out. Uh, and almost immediately, I knew something was wrong. He stopped seeing us all together, stopped coming for family dinners, coming over for holidays. I got in the habit of closing his bedroom door. But one day, I came home from work, and I saw that he must have been there. His bedroom door was open, and things were moved around. I entered his bedroom, and <clears throat> I saw that there was this letter addressed to me. We agreed that I would read the letter. Here goes. Dear Mom, I'm writing you to say I'm sorry. I've been a bad son, disloyal and arrogant. I want you to know that I will always love you, and I know that we must have shared good memories, but now I can't for the life of me remember any of them. I can't remember feeling happiness or joy, and if I can't even remember how it feels, then I don't think I'll ever feel that way again. I can't live like this anymore, not anymore. You were right not to trust her. She wasn't a good one. Even imagining my life any differently throws my whole existence into upheaval. You might as well ask a paraplegic to go for a jog or a, a dog to read Ulysses. I don't want to be this person anymore. <clears throat> Cameron, do you want to say something? Yeah, that afternoon I was, was out of my mind. I couldn't think of a future for myself. Uh, but after years of therapy and growing and healing, I came to a place where I could think of myself as a successful person. And if I can do it, then any of you in this room can. Do you have something to say, Ashlyn? Actually, I just have a question. Um, who is she? What? Oh, in the letter it says, uh, sh you were right, she wasn't a good one. Who is she? Um, she was my girlfriend at the time. We were seeing each other for a while, but her and my mom didn't get along. 
Where was she during all this? I broke up with her the night before I wrote that letter. Thanks for the question, Ashlyn. I actually have one more. Um, the letter wasn't entirely clear. Were you going to kill yourself? I was going through a deep depression. Um, after I wrote that letter, I got in my truck and I just sort of drove and drove. Then what happened? Well, after I wisened up, I came back home. Okay. Um, but what was your plan? What? For killing yourself. Were you going to drive your car into a canyon, shoot yourself, sleeping pills? What were you going to do? Well, I don't really feel like... Man, when my husband killed himself, I instantly knew how much he must have thought about it. We didn't even own a gun. So for him to be able to blow his brains out in the park restroom, he had to wait until I was out of the house. Then he had to travel to his parents' home, figure out a way to sneak their shotgun out of their house while they were still there. I mean, it was a plan for sure. Piece of crap was lazy his entire life, but he sure put a lot of effort into his suicide. Ashlyn, would you like to share your story? No, I'm asking the question. What's the question? I want to hear your plan. Come on, I'm sure everyone here does too. You don't continually come to this group without being a little morbid. I don't really feel like talking about what my plan was. Come on! Stop it! I will not. You don't get to pretend that this is something other than what it is. Say it. I didn't have a... F I didn't have a firm plan. All right. Are you done now? What was the point of this? That you don't get to do this. Not anymore. You don't get to fill people's minds with delusions because one day they'll figure out you were wrong and they might do what your son was too much of a coward to do. Hello, Lupe. Yes, funny I reached your voicemail. How surprising. I just wanted to tell you that you are a worthless parent and you are single-handedly ruining your son's life. Anyway. Hola, Lupe. Soy Ashlyn. Estaba llamando para decirte que ya no voy a trabajar con Guillermo. No le puedo ayudar. Adios. That was episode seven of Canyon County. As we look towards Emmett, I'll read the credits. Ashlyn Reed was played by Zoe Kelly. Diane Olson was played by Patty O'Hara. Cameron Olson was played by David Cohen. The suicide survivors were played by Zach Barrett, Abigail Thompson, Michelle Salvain, and Yao Yin. Locations were provided by Smith Horace, Attorneys at Law, and Idaho Casting. Chuck O'Noctane was the audio designer and wrote the score, while Luna Kang recorded live audio. Additional music was provided by Tyler Carson with his song, So Beautiful. The episode was written by Elliot Norton, Chuck O'Noctane, and Zoe Kelly. And it was directed by Elliot Norton. Subscribe to Lower Gentry Studios for further episodes. <laughs>